I was Ski YouTube. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a black flicker effect because a lot of people have been asking me how I do this. And there are two different ways to do this. One is the actual filter and the other one I just created by myself. So I'm going to show you the filter one first. This one is not as good if you're trying to match it with music, but it's really cool if you're trying to lay it over a video because it enhances the video a lot and makes the video look a lot cooler. Alright, so this effect is the old video effect. I have this favorited, but I believe if you go to all, then you can just scroll down and find it that way, but I have the filter favorited. So I'm just going to add that by pressing the plus symbol. You see it goes down here, I can zoom in, and you guys can see the filter. And then I'll just add just a random clip, I guess. It's just a random clip so you see what it looks like. Alright, you see that is what the black filter effect for, um, that's what about, yeah, the black filter effect looks like, not, not the one that I created myself. But yeah, you see, so it make, you see how it makes this look a lot cooler, it makes the gameplay look a lot cooler, because this is what it looks like without the flicker effect. Right now, you see without the flicker effect, it looks like this, and then with it, it looks like this. And as you can see, the, there's, there's flickering, and you can change the speed of the flickering by clicking right on your mouse and clicking edit, and then you see frequency, you can move it up like this, so it's 10, so you can see it goes a lot faster now, or you can move it down, do the same thing, move it down to frequency, so it's 1, so then it goes a lot slower. Alright, then you can also, for this, you can change the color if you wanted, so that it was only just a flicker, instead of, and there was no really light, and you can have a fade effect, so you can see there's no, um, no fade around it, and then the frequency, you can go like this. See, so there's no, there's no fade around the, um, thing, so it's only the flicker. Alright, so that is the filter way, and I'm going to show you the way that I created. So, what you want to do is you want to have your clip, and then you want to go to uh, media, and then go to sample colors. This this way takes a lot longer. And then you see this, you'll have a lot of list of colors from black, blue, gradient, gradient 2, gradient 3. You want to use black. So you want to press the plus sign. So it goes down here. Sorry. Sorry, you want you wanna actually perp you don't want to press the plus sign, I meant to say. Then you want you wanna hold on to it and then drag it all the way down here. So it goes to the PIP layer. So you see it's over the clip. I'll just move this a little over. See it goes like this. And then it goes to black like that because it's over it's overlaying. And then what you wanna do is you wanna cut right about here and then here if you see what I'm doing so then it's gonna alternate with the black um the black screen black overlay and then once you get two like as you see here I'll show you what, what it looks like I just probably want to make that a little smaller If you zoom in, you can move things closer. Uh, zoom a little closer in, and then now you see, you see that's the flick. And then what you want to do instead of doing this, like, like doing um, the same thing over and over and over, what you want to do is you want to just highlight by holding down anywhere, and then highlighting the areas you want to um, highlight. The, so highlighting the black screen. And clicking right on your mouse again and then pressing copy and then just going where you want the other flick and then pressing right on your mouse and pressing paste so you see it goes it's a lot faster see that's the flicker so you have the four flickers this is what it looks like 
And then instead of just repeatedly doing that, you can now just highlight this again. And then press copy to get all four and then go to where you want it to be. Press paste. So now you see I got eight flickers. So see, that's what it looks like. And I can do that again if I wanted. So I'll just show you. That's a really cool feature that Windows Mora has, being able to copy multiple things at once. And so look, now I have the flicker. As you saw there, I have a really, I have a pretty good flicker effect. Made that in about two minutes, something like that. That's with commentating. And yeah, so I hope this helps. You can match this with music if you would like. You can do that. Make sure to use this in your videos. I know I'm not going to be receiving as many views on these type of videos, but it's just for the few people that really needed these um, tutorials. And if you want me to show you a tutorial on how to do anything else, make sure to tell me in the comment section. I'll probably do that maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, doesn't matter. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you're new. I'm out. Peace.